<laughs> I mean, Amanda, Amanda, you lost the bell. Why are you taking a picture with the bell? <laughs> Amanda, you lost the bell. You're not a champion. You lost. And look at how she 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 limited the comments on the post. How is that? How are you a champion? And you limit the fucking post? Like, you limit the comments on the post? So, 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 you can knock people out, but when you get stopped, you can't take it? I I, I don't have any respect for that, though. Honestly, I, I don't. She only let people that she follows or something comment on the post, which is some pussy shit, to be honest, in my opinion. I think it's pussy shit. Because... If you're a champion through and through, okay, you lost the fight. I'm not even shitting on her because she lost the fight. I'm shitting on her because she doesn't let people write any comments in the comment section. And I'm shitting on her because she can't take criticism. You're supposed to be a champ. Look, man, you lost the fight. The trolling is 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 part of the game. And you you you, you don't let people comment? That's why I'm making this video. I respect Amanda. Obviously, you know, I'm a big fan of Amanda. But at the same time, like, you don't let people look at your posts, though? Like, that's kind of messed up. You don't let people comment on the post? I'm going to message her. <laughs> I said you better train hard. Juliana is training. Because I knew... I knew Juliana Pena would win this fight. Look at my post. Look at my pre-fight prediction. I'm going to play it right now for you guys. I knew Amanda would win this. I mean, I mean, I knew Pena would win this fight. Not Amanda. I knew Juliana Pena was going to win this fight. Now, let's, let's, let's go here. My official prediction. Right here. I predicted it. I predicted and this. The fight is going to happen. The way in has happened. The live way. All right, let's go right to the prediction. I predicted Pena would win this fight. Look at how happy her coach is. I think Pena's coaches are world class. World class coaches. Even in the Jermaine Durandami fight, even though Pena lost that fight, she was winning the fight. You know, she just made one mistake and got caught in a, in a, in a guillotine. It happens. You know, that's part of the game. Like, you can lose fight. Like, Amanda's lost fights before. Like, you know, it's not a big deal, really, to be honest. But anyways... All less energy to keep them on the ground. Top control. The person on the fight. And I think that it's a 60-40 fight in Amanda Nunes' favor. But as the fight goes longer, it's 60-40 in Juliana Pena's favor. As the fight goes longer. Because the more you pressure Amanda Nunes and the more you make her work... In the clinch, take her down. That's going to wear on her gas tank. She's going to get tired and, tired and tired and tired and tired and tired and tired. Just like Juliana Pena is going to get tired. But I think Pena is a better wrestler than Amanda. So she's able to be more efficient with her energy. And I know it takes more energy to take someone down than to defend a takedown. But once you get them down, you... You are using a lot less energy to keep them on the ground. Top control. The person on the bottom is carrying your weight. So they have to do a lot more to try and get up on their feet or move around, avoid the ground and bound, like stuff like that. You know, there's just so many things. And the weigh-ins happened. I mean, who do you guys have? Who do you guys think wins this fight? Um, give me guys, give me you guys predictions in the comment section and tell me what you guys think about this fight. Um, I'm picking Pena to win this fight by uh, submission or knockout. Not knockout, ground and pound. You see? I picked Pena to win this fight. Nobody cared, but I still picked her. Nobody gave a fuck. Nobody watched the video, but I picked Juliana Pena to win this fight. So, you know, um, and, 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 and. And I knew she was going to win this fight. I respect Amanda, but I called it. I knew this was going to happen. Because, look, man. Look at how drained Amanda is at that weight class. 
She looks tiny as fuck. She's a lioness. She's a great fighter and blah, blah, blah. But she's not a... She's not... I mean, she's a good fighter. But she's not as good a wrestler as Juliana Pena. Doesn't have the gas tank that a Juliana Pena has. There was no luck in this fight. Even if Amanda fights her again, Amanda loses in her against Juliana Pena in a rematch. She would lose that fight. There's no way Amanda wins in a rematch against Juliana Pena. I know all of you guys bet on, bet on Amanda, but I knew. I fucking predicted it. Look at the prediction videos that I did. I said she was going to win the fight, and she did. <laughs> Just like I thought. I fucking called it, man. But she's not going to win a rematch. Nope. Not going to happen. She's not happy. She, she's not winning a rematch. You know why? She, she can win a rematch at 145 pounds, but at 135, Amanda is not beating Juliana Pena at 135. It's just not going to happen. The same thing is going to happen again. The same exact thing is going to happen again. I respect Amanda. I respect her, but but you gotta but you gotta be realistic at the same time. You gotta. I'm I'm I'm. Can I not have an opinion though? Like, am I not allowed to have an opinion? I think she's going to lose against... And I was right. I picked Pena. So... Give you a little time. How, 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 how long do you need, Amanda? You need the six months? You need six months to train for Pena, huh? But she... But she, but before the fight, you were saying that she was a cakewalk. You were saying that, you, that your wrestling's not going to stop. You didn't train hard for this fight, Amanda. You didn't train hard for this fight. I told you to train, by the way. I texted you. I told you you better train hard. Because Juliana is training hard for this fight. Like, she was coming with a vengeance. She wasn't just going to come out there and try and, and lose. You think Juliana was coming to lose this fight? The only way Nunes can beat her is with a lucky shot. A lucky punch. <laughs> She's not going to wrestle Pena. Pena is a very good wrestler. I don't even know who, who, who's taken Pena down before. I think maybe a Kat Zingano or a Misha Tate can take her down, but 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 but, but Nunez, no. And and I don't think uh I don't think I don't think Nunez can win against Pena in a rematch. I think she needs to fight at 145 and fight other women at 145. Defend her time. But the problem with that is there's literally nobody in the 145 pound division. There's literally nobody. So, 145 UFC rankings. There's only like three people there. What the hell's the point of that? Like, women's one. The women's rank. Okay. No, no, let's go. The women's rankings are like... There's only two people at featherweight. <laughs> there's only two people at featherweight. Like, how are you going to even defend your title at featherweight? What? She's still the champion? You didn't change it? Come on, man. You gotta change this right now, UFC. Change it right now. Change that to Pena. That's disrespectful as fuck. I don't care if it if it was if it was yesterday. I don't care if there wasn't a lot. Look, there's no one at Featherweight. There's no rankings. How is she gonna defend her title at Featherweight? You know what the UFC is gonna do? I guarantee you the UFC is getting, getting rid of the featherweight division. They're not bringing more people in there. It's not going to happen. They're getting rid of featherweight. Guaranteed. That belt means nothing. She's not a champion anymore. Because that, type, that, 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 that division is gone. The bantamweight division, she's not the champion. She lost. She lost her fight. She, got, she tapped out with no hooks. She tapped out with no hooks. Look at the picture here. She tap out with no hooks. No hooks. No hooks. Look. No hooks. Zero hooks. <laughs> and the choke wasn't even locked in like that. <laughs> oh my god.